we'll continue with the topic of lines and angles a new topic is parallel lines and transversal children all these concepts you have learned in your smaller classes now what is meant by a transversal in standard 7 you have learned about it but we'll just recall what is meant by a transversal a straight line which cuts two or more straight lines at distinct points is called a transversal now here in this figure you can see there are two lines m and n now this line is cut by the third line called l at how many points is it cut it is cut at two points this is one point let's say p this is another point let's say q then the line l is known as transversal so what is meant by a transversal transversal is a straight line which cuts two or more lines at different points now here consider two lines m and n a transversal l is cutting at two points p and q then we get eight angles i have marked the eight angles as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so let's see what these pairs of angles are the first one corresponding angles now what are the corresponding angles from this figure you can see angle 1 and angle 5 those are corresponding pair of angles can you tell me another pair of corresponding angles you can write it as angle 2 and angle 6 angle 4 and angle 8 angle 3 and angle 7 these are the four pairs of corresponding angles what about vertically opposite angles what were vertically opposite angles we have learned in this chapter itself when two lines are intersected a pair of vertically opposite angles are formed so here 1 and 3 are vertically opposite angle so what is the other pair of vertically opposite angle you can say 2 and 4 so we can write it here 2 and four and the set of vertical angles will be angle 5 and angle 7 and other pair will be angle 6 and angle 8 so there are four pairs of vertically opposite angles and four pairs of corresponding angles our next set alternate interior angles as the name suggest they should be interior angles which all are the interior angles here 4 3 5 and 6 these are the interior angles the two you want alternate interior angles so if i take angle 4 what is the next alternate angle it will be angle 6 if i take 3 then the other alternate interior angle will be 5 so angle 4 and 6 angle 3 and 5 angle 4 and 6 angle 3 and angle 5 are the alternate interior angles if there are interior angles definitely there will be exterior angles also so see angle 1 2 7 and 8 are the exterior angles we need alternate exterior angles so if i take angle 1 then the alternate exterior angle 1 2 7 8 2 will not come so what is the next alternate uh, angle 1 and angle 7 angle 2 and angle 8 will be the 
alternate exterior angle. Then the next angle is co-interior angles. Co-interior angles. Co-interior angles will be angle 4 and angle 5. Angle 3 and angle 6. So the different pairs of angles that we get when a transversal cuts two lines are corresponding angles, vertically opposite angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles and co-interior angles. Now there are certain statements or theorems that you need to learn. But we need not learn the proof for this. The first theorem here. If a transversal intersect two parallel lines, then each pair of corresponding angles are equal. If a transversal intersect two parallel lines, look the figure here. AB and CD are the two parallel lines. It is cut by a transversal. Then they are saying that each pair of corresponding angles are equal. That means if AB is parallel to CD, then angle X is equal to angle Y. If there are a pair of lines, then the corresponding angles will be equal. It is also known as corresponding angle axiom. We can learn the converse also. What does the converse say? If a transversal intersects two lines such that pair of corresponding angles are equal, then the two lines are parallel. So, in the reverse way, they are saying if angle X is equal to angle Y, then the two lines AB will be parallel to CD. If the two lines are parallel, corresponding angles are equal. If the corresponding angles are equal, then the lines will be parallel. The same with the case of alternate interior angles also. If the lines are parallel, if AB is parallel to CD, then alternate interior angles, angle X is equal to angle Y. If a transversal intersect two parallel lines, here the two parallel lines are A, B and C, D. Then the alternate interior angles will be equal. Same with the converse. If the transversal intersect two lines such that the alternate interior angles are equal, if angle X equals angle Y, then the lines will be parallel. Then the third one, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then sum of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. That means if there are two lines L and M, L and M are parallel. It is cut by the transversal N. Then interior angles on the same side. What are the interior angles on the same side? A and B. The sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. Vice versa. If a transversal intersects two lines such that sum of the angles on the same side of the transversal is 180, then the lines will be parallel. Next one. Suppose there are three lines A, B and C such that A is parallel to C, B is parallel to C. Then we can say that A is parallel to B. A parallel to C, B parallel to C implies A and B will be parallel lines. 
these are the certain conditions and certain theorems we need to learn if a transversal cuts to parallel lines.